My name is Kelvin Drogemeyer. I'm a professor of meteorology here at the University of Oklahoma and also the vice president for research for the Norman campus. I grew up in a small town in central Kansas, about four and a half hours north of the University of Oklahoma. I did my undergraduate degree down here at OU in the late 1970s and my graduate degree uh, at the University of Illinois, both my master's and PhD degrees at Illinois, and I came back to join the OU faculty in 1985. So I've been here about 31 years on the OU faculty. After joining the faculty uh, here at OU in 1985, I uh, co-founded a research center, uh, led several uh, research centers and large projects, and uh, had a lot of grants and so on, and was very interested in research administration, which means basically that you help other people get funding, uh, you help people run their grants, and so on. And so in 2005, I became the Associate Vice President for Research, and in 2009, the Vice President for Research. So as the VPR, as it's called here at OU, my job is basically to help faculty be successful in everything associated with their research. It might mean helping them locate funding, helping them plan the future of their research programs, also helping build facilities and new facilities, new buildings, uh, help, help recruit graduate students, and so on. Everything that is associated with research, my job is to help them be successful. My own background in meteorology is to use computer models to understand thunderstorm dynamics and also to use things like radar data to assimilate them into models to see if we can actually predict thunderstorms in advance, maybe up to several hours in advance. Uh, I helped uh, co-found a center back in the 1980s that focused on that. There are also a, a number of large projects underway here at the University of Oklahoma in a variety of areas. We have uh, work going on in climate work in structural biology, some very, very large activities there. The human microbiome, uh, the little critters and bugs that live on us and inside of us is something that OU is very, very good at. We also have a very, very substantial program in radar, in weather radar, and also in defense applications of radar. Uh, we're actually leading the world, I would say, in, uh, in ground-based weather radar research and education. So my job as Vice President for Research is to make sure that we as a university excel in a variety of areas, which includes some very, very very large projects of the type I just mentioned. Um, my teaching load typically in the fall involves uh, Dynamics uh, 3, the third Dynamics course, and then in the spring I typically teach uh, what's called Mesoscale Meteorology. Um, this fall, this coming fall, I'm teaching Dynamics 1, which is the introductory dynamics course. I taught that back in the 1980s and early 1990s, so I'm looking forward to teaching it again. Uh, I really love teaching that class because it's the first course for students in meteorology where we put together all the mathematics and physics that they've learned in calculus and, and physics and also some chemistry, where we start to really apply it to the atmosphere. So it's a very, very fun course for students to really see how all of that base material comes together in application to the atmosphere. In addition to my jobs at the University of Oklahoma being a professor of meteorology and vice president for research, I've been involved at the national level in a lot of uh, science policy activities with the National Science Board and several professional associations. I also am very heavily involved in integrating the social and behavioral sciences into meteorology because at the end of the day, all the science and technology in the world will not alone by themselves prevent people from dying. We really have to understand the human dimension of weather, of, of communicating warning information and things like that. So that's an area where uh, I have a personal interest, but also uh, the University of Oklahoma with our NOAA partners here on campus and also the national community are really trying to move the ball down the field, so to speak, in improving our ability to help save lives and protect property. <laughs>